there aren't any reviews of this uh, watch online, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, budget review here. Uh, this is the Ferrer, Ferrer Rocher, or however you pronounce it. Um, I picked up this watch on Reddit, watch exchange. Um, I got an extra strap with it, and it was about uh, $500 less than retail. Um, it's a pretty nice watch for the price. Um, bracelet is nothing to really comment on. Um, it doesn't have any micro adjustment, so I put an extra link in it from uh, the person who had it previously, and it's a little bit uh, too big for my wrist, and if I take that link out, then it's a little too small. So I suppose I could take one of these little half links out, but then it would be uneven on each side. But yeah, the clasp is fine, nothing special about it. Case back. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know that I really care for the red, but as you can see it, it's a little decorated a tiny bit. Crown is cool. It's big. Oh, well, it's not big, but it's a decent size. Very smooth. The uh, crown to rotate the country time zones is very smooth in some places it is misaligned so like this one is fine um, this fine one is misaligned that one's fine too You can see Moscow just slightly misaligned from the top indices there. Um, the dial's pretty nice. The finishing is, you know, nice for this price range. Um, I saw some pictures online that I was concerned about um, right around the the hour ring. Um, it looked a little rough. Um, it's really, uh, it's fine. Really, all it is is the. It was a little bit of a pattern on the inner ring and when that pattern like folds over down to that the 24 hour ring it's just the pattern folding down so it's really not the finishing uh being rough um even on on in this video it looks a little kind of clunky but in person it, it looks fine it's not really noticeable the uh the pattern on that inner dark blue ring um it's very slight you, you really can't see it um, unless you really hold it at the right light. And when you hold it at the right light, then the glare on the crystal is really noticeable. Um, so it's kind of pointless. The, the crystal, um, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't have, seem to have much anti-reflective on it. It's, uh, it has a ton of glare. Um, the outer, outer ring has uh, with the countries, it's pretty nice. It's pretty legible. Um, I personally don't really care for the inner ring only having some of the numbers and these just big sticks. The, uh, the hour numbers, um, yeah, I personally don't care for it. They look just kind of plasticky and cheap. Um, and then only has some of the numbers, so it's it's legible, but I don't know. I don't personally care for it. The inner hour ring works great. It, you know, rotates when you set the time, and uh, and just as time flows normally, uh, it rotates, which is pretty cool. It's not something you really see on other watches. Um, the hands, um, they're they're. Uh, very reflective. I personally don't care for it. Um, the rest of the watch is matte, and then the hands are very reflective, which to me, I guess it makes it more legible, more readable, but uh, to me it kind of looks a little weird, um, and I don't really care for it. Really the reason that I'm 
uh, gonna sell this watch is because of the hands I don't really care for them and the uh, the hour and numerals um, the case is pretty nice the lugs slope down which is always important to me since I have a small wrist um, the finishing is decent I like how it actually has some some depth some change to it rather than just like a flat chunky case the inner finishing uh is pretty like dull and matte in in between there i, I like the style of it but it does look a little cheap to me anyways um just the finishing inside there um it wears it wears pretty heavy so if you like a substantial feeling watch um it's pretty nice for that. I, for, to me, it, it wears a little too heavy, like compared to um, some of my other watches. Like a like it's definitely heavier than like a Rolex. Um, so for me, it's a little too heavy, especially with the bracelet not fitting right. It just slides around. So that's probably the other reason I am going to sell it. Um, yeah, overall, it's a decent watch. I just don't, just not quite to my taste. And since I'm trying not to have too many watches, I'm going to get rid of this one.